Okay, so next I've got this uh, sound that I really love from the Retro Synth. If uh, you guys have Logic, I definitely recommend you check this out. It's such a powerful tool, so overlooked. Um, and we're using the uh, table synthesis here, um, which is based off, uh, I think, a synth called a, a PPG. Um, and it's just a different method of combining waveforms. These are sort of uh, digitally recorded waveforms um, or waveform shapes. Um, and it, it just sounds really cool, it's just very unique, okay, so I'm just going to play the single note that I integrated here. So I'll just play that to you with the beat. So you can see, not very interesting, but I did love that sound, so I thought, okay, how can I build this up a little bit, keeping it really, really simple. So the first thing I did was I went straight to the call trigger and I put a minor uh, seven and nine, which is here in single and uh, extended harmonies. There. And th that gave me this chord. Starting to feel that kind of deep vibe there, getting a little bit more, um, a little bit more jazzy. And then I thought, you know what, it's really cool, but I want it to sound old school. I, I want to go for that almost that New York loft kind of sound. And Isotope have this great plugin, which is totally free, um, called Vinyl. You just got to sign up online. Uh, this is the, the, the latest version, I'm pretty sure. And one of my favorite effects on here is the warp depth. Now, what this does is in the shape of this waveform here, which, by the way, you can change down here, is it warps the sound, whatever sound you're putting through it, in and out of pitch. Kind of randomly, it's not synced or anything. And that's great for having that kind of analog synth sound. Analog synths tend to go out of pitch a little bit. So let's check it out. So I just wanted a little bit, just kind of encouraging that that uh, that kind of vinyl, um, well, the kind of vinyl pitch movement, and then I've got a little bit of wear, which is giving it that distortion, that kind of gritty sound. I thought that was really cool. So before, and now, last but not least, I've got this. Uh, well, these are basically filters, but I, this is the 1970 filter. I felt like it cut off a nice amount of the high frequencies and the low frequencies too, and it, it basically EQ'd the sound for me, which is why I don't have any EQ on it. Great. Now, as much as I like it being a bit more vintage I also wanted to add something a little modern so what I've done is I've automated a bus here um, and I just did this automation totally by hand and this automation is just increasing the reverb on certain points um, of those chords so Let's hear it with everything else. Notice how that harmonic wave also doesn't play at the, you know, when we did that chop for the bass earlier. So again, we're giving the bass that space that it needs and everything's sitting around it. Okay, guys, that's how to get this kind of cool um, vintage analog sounding chords. Don't be scared of things being out of tune every so often. That kind of humanizing of a sound definitely pays off uh, in the long run with regards to getting more of a feeling, making things more imperfect. People love that. They don't recognize that they love it, but it's something natural that we feel. Remember at Sample Tools by CR2, we also offer a mix and mastering service. Just head over to www.sampletoolsbycr2.com, click on the Mastering tab, and you'll find our range of services there.